Hello YouTube, this is JJ Sibani and today I'm going to show you how to put a Super Nintendo Entertainment System emulator on your DS. First off, you're going to need DS of course. I know it's kind of dark right now. Second, you'll need one of these cards, you know, an R4, a Cyclo DS Edge, and you'll need a micro SD card so you can hold your ROMs, your emulators, all that crap, and, and then something you can transfer your files through. Example, I'm going to use my phone again. And you'll, of course, you'll need Moonshell because this will run on, this is going to run on Moonshell unless you have the Edge program. Because, well, all I know is that I can run it without the moon shell as long as I have an edge. Because I don't have anything else so I wouldn't know about it. If you, if you do find out that you don't need moon shell for an R4 or any of those other cards, uh, can you send me a message and I'll post it on YouTube. Alright. Now, first, what you're going to want to do is go to this site. I'll have it posted in the link in the description, I mean. And then you're gonna want to download the S N E M whatever on um, just click on that. And then it, it should bring you to this page. And then if you want you can look here. Well they have his Ben the um whatever owner's connection. He has collection and all this other stuff, you know. I took the collection and I'm not gonna I already downloaded it and stuff, so Let's just skip that part. Alright, I have it on my pen drive. Let's see. I have it right here. Now, not all of these are going to work. Well, when I tested them, they didn't work. So, all I did was take this one. And I put it on my DS. I put it on my micro SD card. It's going to... So, yeah. First off, I gotta put my card in, just let me set that up, it'll take me a second. Alright, there we go, and then, and then, first off, you're gonna go onto your micro SD card file, or your little thing, yeah, and then, what you're gonna want to do is, you're gonna make a folder, right? It's gonna be called whatever you want it to be. I named mine eh, Super Nintendo SNES. And what? And then make another file. You have to this whatever you want to name it. I named it SNES Emulator. And you're gonna put the emulator inside. And this one I just renamed it because the Alpha Six, Alpha Zero Point Six. That's what it is. The birthday edition. It's ten years old, by the way. Congrats to Benji, the creator. Right here, Ben, Ben J. All right, then all you—it's simple. All you have to do is take the emulator and put it in. I recommend this one, right here, 0 .0, 0 0.6 alpha, which would be this one. If you want, you could uh, you could download it. You don't have to download the full collection, but that's your—that's up to you. And then all you have to do is do that. Then download some games. I already have some Mario games. It is very important that you put it in the directory. You do not put it in this file. You do not make another file. You just put it in the file. And that's it. And then just make your file and put the emulator in there. Alright, now that we're done with that. Or you're done with that, I guess. You're gonna, you're gonna take your micro SD card. Put it in your in your little edge cartridge and just slide it into the DS. Now I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna show you this. Yeah my DS is broken if you haven't noticed. Alright let's see. Just gonna put it up against that. Now see I have the edge and the I have the edge program so I won't need moon shell right now. But, oh yeah, and another thing, if you have the Edge program, Moonshell 1 point, this version will not, will not, uh, you cannot play the thing, the emulator on this. Yeah, I don't know why, I'm guessing it's just compatible with that one, the owner. Alright, now I'm just gonna 
You cannot play on 1.71 Moonshell. <sighs> Alright. Now I'm just gonna... This is where... This is the Moonshell you want. Moonshell 2. This one right here. Not the other one, alright? Pretty sure most of you got that. I'm just gonna do that. Just to show you guys. Here's the emulator. Just click on that. The files won't. The files won't show up when you like. Well, it's it's gonna show up on the emulator, but it's not gonna show up on the DS, right? All right. Here's Mario, and here's uh, this other Mario game. And when you play the game, I know this one. This one gave me another file, so don't worry about that. I'm pretty sure it's just a save file. Let's see what you can play it. All you have to do, it doesn't matter if you click this, but this is to like save it and stuff. This stuff I just got it right now, so I wouldn't really know everything about it. Alright, let's just try it. This game, when I first tried it, it, was, it got stuck on this for like 10 seconds, but it'll go away, so just watch. Don't worry about it. I mean, you'll have a fully compatible game. Alright, it should be done by any moment. Yep, there you go. Oh, uh, it's so bright. See, fully compatible SNES emulator. Bye again. Ben J on GBA Temp.net. Ben J. He is the owner of this, the uh, creator, whatever. And that's basically it, yeah. Now, if you have any questions, just message me on YouTube and I'll assist you from there. But for now, just if you if you did manage to get your emulator to work, then congrats. You know, hope you have fun. All right, we'll see you on YouTube and subscribe.